Take your time now. Take your time. Make sure you're helping. There you go. This isn't the gym there class is. you remember. Okay, we got four people left. How are we going to get them across here? Instead of go. a hardwood a gym idea. floor, a hardwood tree holds a rope. There you go. Hang on. Hang on. You're doing okay. Well, hang on. Oh, no. And everyone's a cheerleader. All right. Nice job. My name is Mike Kleina. I'm a physical education teacher at Grafton High School. All right. I wrote a grant for $4,200 for the Grafton Education Foundation. Careful. <laughs> to build a low ropes uh, team building course. A low ropes course is um, uh, different kinds of elements that challenges kids, not only um, communication skills, but problem solving and critical thinking skills. This Grafton Education Foundation grant was the final piece of the fundraising puzzle, making this low ropes course a reality. Now students of all ages and even community groups are encouraged to take advantage of this 17 element course that teaches much more than you think. Yeah, okay, down. Simultaneous down. Hey, all right. It's very important that everyone gets a fair say. And a lot of people did communicate and talk. There was different kids here that did more. Adam, for example, today did more talking today than he has in the last two weeks in any of our classes. So it's kind of fun to see. Private money for public schools, that is the basis of what we do. The Grafton Education Foundation, or GEF, was created to fill a gap. A group of community leaders, independent of the school district, working to make educational dreams come true. The taxes aren't enough. We need uh, something extra. We need something extra in Grafton to make us a better school district than other school districts. At the moment, my computers are so old, so ancient, that we have one that consistently works out of 15. John Long Middle School's tech ed teacher, Robin Morgan, jokes that her computers are older than her 10th graders. She wanted a smart board to take her students' projects to the next level. Make tech ed a little bit more fun instead of just blocks of wood and sawdust. There's so many things you can do with it. There are so many things that kids can do with it, and to not have that ability was disheartening. But that's changing with her GEF grant for a smart board. Now shop class is moving into the 21st century. In the future, there's only going to be more demand for like the way engineering is going and all the world is moving. There's going to be just more demand for this. It's really nice to learn. And while tech ed will always be about wood and drills, the new smart board means the entire clean lab is getting an upgrade to accommodate it. The Grafton Education Foundation made possible the first gift, and that set into play the ability to think of new ideas to fix the rest of it. And so it's all coming together. That one gift has set so many gifts in play. Kindergartners at Grafton Elementary School also getting a technology upgrade with this new iPod Listening Center. Kindergarten is all about reading, and listening to fluent readers is a key part of that. But the clunky tapes still being used in class? Well, these kids had never seen those before. Teaching how to use a tape recorder and tapes is a lot of extra steps that they're actually not used to. They have iPods at home or they've seen I how iPods are, are used. So this will go faster and they'll have a lot more access. The foundation's motto, Quality Schools Together, really comes to life with this next grant. The middle school is teaming up with Grafton business leaders for a one-day event to teach all eighth graders some real-life money skills. And they'll get a life um, a choice where they'll uh, be assigned a career. They may be married or not. They may have children or not. And they'll have to go through a budget and learn to live within that budget for a month's time. At John Long Middle School, business class is an elective. And teacher Lori Mathias long dreamed of a way to reach all students in a subject they'll all need. Financial literacy is, is important for a lot of parents right now, um, what everybody is going through, and I think they can realize that our schools can help with this. I did that. You want to do that one? Okay. Or can we cut, or can we just go there stand? I work with children that have special needs. We wrote a grant for two iPads and uh, some applications uh, for the iPads, and it has just changed what I'm doing. I thought it was the, probably the best thing when I tried it the first time. The best thing you've ever done in school? Yeah. An application that's gonna help you with your basic facts. Perhaps the grants for iPads making the biggest impact. These educators say in 30 years of teaching, okay. they've <laughs> never seen anything like it. All right, very good. Sometimes school is a hard place to be for those kids. And that engagement with what's going on 
sometimes it's hard, but this iPad just has revolutionized that. And they're immediately drawn, which means that they strive harder, they work harder, they uh, feel this mastery because those things that were difficult for them to do in the past are now available. It has that cool factor uh, versus the, oh, it's only for, for those kids kind of factor. It's like everybody wants this, so it has that universal design that like, you know, everyone wants one and my kids have it, so that's pretty cool. He drove a big truck. Cool things are happening in Grafton. After just one year of fundraising and grants, we've seen technology increase with iPods and iPads, smart boards, and programs to teach confidence, communication, and life skills. So will you be applying for a future GEF grant? I would say do it. It's worth it. It's worth it's worth that time that you put into it. It's, it's, to receive these was an awesome gift, and we're very appreciative. It was worth every minute of putting in the time. Or are you the one making grants come true? Hats off to the foundation, and I hope it thrives and continues, and you know, iPads today, and who knows what it, we might be writing a grant for tomorrow. Mm -hmm.